of those moments. Uh, it was kind of like when I was uh, trying to do stand up with Bill. Um, a lot of people, including Bill, told me, you know, you need to think about what people think is funny and not what you think is funny. Because this thing made me like cackle on the ground laughing. Sure. And uh, so what I did here, this is kind of funny because so Zach was supposed to come today Mm -hmm. and I wanted to tell this in front of all you guys, especially Bill and Zach. Sorry, Ross. Sorry, Ross. That's kind of, I I wanted to very lightly serve you there so I can be the bitch with the tight butthole. (laughs) No, but anyways, um, I was, uh, I asked John if I should even mention this because I, uh, I've had a very bad week, so I've been in a weird place. And um, all right, let me start of what my idea was. So, um, trying to think where this started. Talk about so, the thing that you think funny. Yeah, yeah. But other people would. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of how because this is a very. I'm gonna get the dark shit out in the beginning of the episode, <laughs> because so, okay. I had. I, I wasn't on good terms with my family, and they thought it was because one of my family members had died. It was my father. I'm not going to talk too much about my family anymore. But anyways, my father, uh, he wasn't there uh, for most of my life. So I kind of like, and I'm a fucking jokester guy, so I kind of like don't care. I'm like, what route to, can I take Take this? And I keep getting calls that he's getting worse. So I uh, honestly... I was weighing out, and I'm I'm asking you guys, what would you do if you got a family member, say a far cousin, that never really like, you know, had any uh, close relationship with you, and they're about to pass away, but it's your responsibility to take care of the funeral, right? I mean, how would you handle it? Because to me, that shit's. I looked up all this stuff. I'm like, you know, I have to prepare myself, not just mentally, but how much is this going to cost and whatnot, you know? So I started looking up that you can actually, yeah, what, Ross? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you put your finger up because like you're gonna say something. It, I, I, I've been told funerals or whatever can, or thousands of thousands of dollars, and why is this on you? Oh, because I'm like next of kin. He doesn't have any family. You, your brother. Yeah, but I'm older than him. So it just it is all. He doesn't have any. The all that he goes on me. And he doesn't have any health life. I mean, life insurance or anything like no. that. No. No. So how are you supposed to afford all this shit? Where exactly. Was- so I was thinking about that, and I started to see where I can cut corners. Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> I found out the cheapest coffin is five hundred, and yeah. By the way, this is the only dark part of the episode. I'm gonna get it all out right now. So, what were you gonna say, Bill? No, I was gonna say. So if you're looking into coffins, you've decided on like a traditional burial. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like there'd be cheaper options than yeah, yeah. Like a, donating no. the body. Well, to I was I, I well I I read that it's uh that it's required for a burial, a co- so so you can't just like put the body in. But I mean, like, there's other options beyond burying. Yeah, 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 yeah cremation and. Yeah, that was Why don't you? I personally, if I have one the day I die, um, I would just want a cremation and everybody gets shit faced. That w- that's what I would want. With the ashes, with, with your body, with my asses in the in the room, not in the blunt, no. Okay, okay. I'm like in what they put in the in the in, what's in the, the urn, yeah. yeah. And everybody gets and then they, they, me on the shelf, and everybody gets shit face in my honor. That's what my why don't you that you want cremation? Does that cost more than what you want to do? I I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends if you set it on fire yourself, right. So. Or you could bury it yourself without the coffin. Exactly. So so here's the path that I went on. Sure. I'm just sipping some tea in the bathtub mm-hmm. and thinking, you know what? Meditating. Yeah. <laughs> About what to do with your <laughs> yeah. father's yeah. cadaver. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And, and, and it said you can do it, you can bury him on your property as long as uh, the zoning doesn't have any restrictions. Like you don't want his head, you know, bursting someone's no. toilet pipe. No. And um, so so then the other thing was I ran into this, uh, article that said th- there was like this badass uh, like marine guy and he, he's like man I got all my guns on my fireplace and I'd love to put my father's skull right in the middle of mm-hmm. all that and apparently you can there's a pl- I forgot what it's called it's called like a school or skull skull factory or something in Michigan 
where they will taxidermy me whatever the hell you give them, but only the bones. And you get and depending on the price, you get to keep it. So mm. I thought, and this is what I was asking uh, John. I mean, he's been missing a lot of episodes. He wasn't so, here last time I was at yeah. you. No. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe the new Say Nothing could be like his skeleton on strings. Oh, that <laughs> John's skeleton? No, uh, my dad's. Okay. So, so I don't know, and that that was my idea. Um, Does it cost anything to get all the muscles and organs out? Not if you I, do it I, yourself. I, yeah. It, well, yeah, that's exactly it. And then I got into an argument with Kelly because I'm like, and, you know, I know how to bleach the bones. You boil them. Well, the kitchen's gonna smell. All right, I'll do it outside on the grill. You know. And um, it, you can do all this legally. I was supposed to, this shit is all legal. This, this is all legal, which is which is why I thought it would be. And I'll be honest, this would be great to have a viral show. Like, oh, this guy hear nothing, see nothing, say it has you know, say nothing is his fucking dad skeleton. Plus, the biggest thing that I thought would be really funny, since I'm on bad terms with the rest of my family, I was gonna bring the puppet with, and be like, hey everyone, <laughs> haven't seen you guys in a while, you know. You could make jokes. You yeah. could. Are you going to do it in English or Polish? In a, in a Polish accent. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And, and, yeah, and in Polish. And you could set jokes up like, geez, Dad, have you been eating? You're just bones. Yeah, right? Exactly. So, but I started thinking about it, and, yeah, it was way too too hard. It, dude, you know how hard it'd be to, like, try and glue all those ribs together without the cats jumping on them or something, you know? And th- well, no. What, what got me to think about it? That's, I'm telling this to John, and John's like, you know, I, and I'm like squealing in the bathtub, laughing my ass off. Sure. And he's like, Phil, I've known you so many years. Y- this is either a complete joke, or you really need to go to a fucking mental hospital because he's like, you're the only one laughing about this. So I don't know. He kind of, and then I, and then I thought about it. What gives him? I a- thought about what he said, and then I thought about you know what Conan O'Brien already has a skeleton on his show. We'd be copping off. What yeah. gives him authority to know what a person needs to be hospitalized? Because he's because he's like a brother to me. I know him twenty five years. What I'm saying that's <laughs> so, not so nothing. Why doesn't he bury your fucking dad? No, there's nothing wrong with your idea. That's not make. It's not harming yourself or others. It's Wait, what? That, I'm trying to say. What's your question? Is there's no reason to be hospitalized over that? It, it's just the fact that you. Oh, I don't. Know. What what he said? I just found a little arrogant because he doesn't realize. The only way you get hospitalized is if you harm yourself or others. What you're doing is it's a little dark, but it's not. Yeah, it's we- just a little weird. Right? Yes, exactly. Not to mention, you don't know how the cats will like hanging out in a rib cage. You know, I can see that happening. I see. I, I've seen that in, I think, a, in a Simpsons episode. Actually, yeah. So it's like The Simpsons. Yeah, exactly. So I I, I don't know what you guys. But I also think thinking about. about Gavin. What do you think Gavin was with things? Yeah, I I would not want to like slaughter my dad in the basement and Gavin yeah. on that. You know, mm-hmm. no. So maybe if he was a little older, you, you yeah. understand. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah, I feel like twelve or thirteen is the age. Yeah. Hey, my stepdad is uh, uh, what's the word? What you 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 would do? You would word for it? Alluring. Um, it, taking muscles and everything out of a body. Uh, cleaning? Yeah, cleaning a dead body. That's fucking awesome. Harvesting? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? They say uh, a kid I was say my t- S- a surgeon? Yeah. Whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. Uh, mortician? I don't know. Hey, the, maybe that's a new future being a mortician if you have a- No, I don't want to do that's I I I I realize John was kind of right. That's that's way too much. Yeah. I'm trying to be funny, I'm not. <laughs> I disagree. I think you're being very funny. Yeah. I, I never think I'm funny anymore. Oh. Oh, come on, Phil. No, man. So, sometimes it doesn't like, happen. No, man. it just doesn't, man. Like you said, sometimes you can be offensive, what you think is funny, but a lot of times you are funny. Oh, yeah. Well, because it, when I try, yeah, Bill said the same thing. When I try to be funny, I'm just being a fucking dick. Yeah. But then when I'm just myself, I guess there there's some funny. I don't know what's funny. You know, like that made me laugh, like sitting at a dinner table with a f- my dad's skeleton on strings. And then, yeah, John's like, dude, I don't know if we can be friends. He said that to you? No, no. But, y- you know, like that vibe. So. And you think you're funny by taking that ashtray away from Actually, Bill. I was thinking I was going to light it. That's really funny. Really funny right there. So I think the more pressing concern is not perhaps the death of your father, 
but rather the death of your sense of self-respect and self-worth and pride, Phil. You are funny. All right, thank you. Of course. Yeah, and you're dead sexy, too. Dead sexy, huh? Yeah, Ooh, dead that's sexy. Good. See, that's wordplay. Right there. What you just did. It, that's I'm wordplay. just quoting a movie. Oh, what Ross. Movie? 